to my channel. So I'm in the middle of making a video of this wonderful Afghan pattern that I love so much. I'm really enjoying it. And um, I'm looking forward to it coming out soon for all of you. Well, guess what? I ran out of yarn. So I figured this is a good time for me to show you my preferred method of joining yarn. Um, I will tell you it's a little bit of a convoluted process with lots of steps, so don't worry, we'll go through it. But I've tried lots of different methods and I find that they've all failed at one point or another with the exception of this method. So this is really one that I use on all of my projects that I think really works really well. Uh, before we begin, I just wanted to ask if you are enjoying my channel and like my videos, if you would please take a moment to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I'm really thankful for all of you for being here and coming back time and time again, so thank you for that. Okay, now let's take a minute and look at this. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to actually use the green for my afghan, but I thought it would be helpful for you to see um, which yarn is which, and like I said, there's a, a lot of little steps here, and it might be easier if you could see it in a different color. So this is the yarn I'm going to join. This is the yarn from my project, okay? So I'm actually going to start with the new ball of yarn, so that's this end here, and I'm going to start by making um, making a P. I'm just going to wrap that around and make a P. Get this down here. Okay? So if you look at this, it kind of looks like the letter P. The yarn going to the ball, the ball of yarn is on top. This is the end of it. Okay? Now I'm going to take the yarn from my project. I'm going to actually first Put it through the hole of the P from below. All right, so underneath, and I'm going to pull that through, and I'm going to go down the side to the left of the stick of the P. Okay, now I'm going to go under that stick, all right, underneath, and then I'm going to put it back through the hole making sure that it's under the white and the green, so under both, all right? Now I've got these two, and I've got these two, and we're just gonna pull it tight. So before I actually do that, let's do that one more time. Okay. So, I just kinda wrap it around my fingers, there's your P, right? You're gonna put your yarn through the hole from underneath. Pull it through and down to the left side of the P, under the stick, and then back through the hole, but underneath the white. All right, so we're gonna go back through there, just like that. Now, take both sides and pull it tight. You can take it this way, still not budging. You can take it this way, not budging. It's a really nice knot. And you can cut this pretty darn close. I do. I've had success with it every time, so that it's almost impossible to see. Just gonna take my scissors and show you. I usually go pretty darn close. And it's still staying. So that, like I said, is my preferred method of joining yarn. I hope that's helpful. Um, if you find this helpful, like I said, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, put them down below in the box. Or if you are looking for something else, a different stitch, a different pattern, 
please feel free to make any suggestions down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.